Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Linda, and this is your, if this is your first time here, I welcome you to my arts and craft channel. Um, please hit the like button and the subscribe if you haven't already. I, I would really, really appreciate it. It just helps my analytics and helps to get my channel out there a little bit more. Um, today, what I want to do, guys, is try out this new paint that um, has come into the dollar store. Um, it's by Rich Art, um, but you can find it in the Crafter Square section. That's where I found it in mine. And I've never tried this before until um, today's the first time. So I am just going to put a couple droplets in my paint well. And we're going to try together and see how well this paint applies and what it can do. So I am just putting a couple droplets in. I took off the seal on a couple of those already and I'm just checking my others. Now this one, um, th these have the flip top on it, but this one did not. And so now I'll have to pour this out so I would recommend giving these um, just a little bit of a shake before you um, start to use these because they've been sitting and you want to really mix it up really good. All right, and then I'm just going to drop a little bit of that red in there. All right, so these, a little bit about this paint. This is acrylic multi-purpose safe and it's non-toxic and it's also water soluble so if you don't know, know what water soluble means it means um, it cleans up with uh, just water and water is what you're going to need to push the paint to make it go further on your canvas or whatever surface you're going to use um, it says that a non-toxic water soluble acrylic paint for arts and crafts you can use it on paper, canvas, cardboard, and wood. Also good for screen and block printing. Removable from some surfaces by washing with warm soapy water. And household ammonia. Not recommended for exterior use. All paints contain pigments that be stain clothing and some surfaces. So what I'm going to do is I am going to show you a couple brush strokes. So I put this line here in black to show you how uh, transparent or how see-through this paint will be. So I'm going to start with yellow. Now basically pretty much yellow acrylic paint is a see-through, very see-throughy paint. So we can see that by that brush stroke right there. I'm going to bring this down a little further so you guys can see. And one way to make your yellow paint not so see-through, you can add some white paint to the yellow paint in equal amounts. And that will make it more opaque and not so see-through. All right, so the next one um, is the yellow ochre, which is this paint. Okay. Now, and it's also see-through. And this paint is um, pretty much, those two colors are pretty runny. So I'm going to the brown. Okay, there. Now we can't see our black line anymore. So it's not opaque. So, I mean, it's not transparent. Oh, I'm sorry guys, I've had a headache all day. All right, so let's go to the red. We'll put our red down. Okay, now you can see that line through the red. All right. So with these four basic little colors that I had picked up, and I picked up the fall colors, I did have a green and I have a white somewhere, but I can't find them. How many of you out there buy your stuff and misplace it? Because I, I can't find it, and it, it upsets me so much that I can't. I need a bigger room or a better way to store my things. But anyway, so um, we're going to do some mixing now. So here's the yellow, and I want to mix it with a little bit of the yellow ochre. 
just to change it up a little bit. It does blend quite well. And it does paint very smoothly. It really does. It gives a nice um, smooth layout on this uh, acrylic paper is what I'm using. So that's really good on that. Clean my water out. Let's see. Now I'm going to the red. Let's see if we can make a good orange from these two. Let's see if the yellow and the red will make a really nice orange. Well, actually, it's a scarlet, so it's not going to be exact orange color. So, okay, but it's not doing a bad job. Really, it is getting a nice orange color there. A little bright. Okay. But it is doing a nice little, little orange color. Not bad at all. Okay, um, so let's go and take the yellow ochre, which was here by itself, and we will mix it with the brown. And these really make nice fall colors to use. So there's the brown, a little bit more yellow ochre, and that will lighten up your brown to get a different shade. I wish I could have found my white. Okay, so these paints are really smooth. Um, they do want to cover. The coverage is really good. I'm just going to do a wash now of this brown. So you can kind of get an idea. This is that full straight brown. Okay. And then let me take the yellow. We'll do a wash with it. And you can see how well it, it does do a, a nice job on coverage. Okay. We'll go to the red next. And this is just a basic wash background. And of course, the more water you add, the lighter your pigment will get. Okay, so I'll add a little bit more. I can make that darker. And then there's just one more. And that's just a straight yellow ochre. And it's one of my favorite colors to paint with. Okay, so we're just going to do a wash of that. You guys can see that. I want to make sure you guys can see it's in focus. All right. Do a little bit more. All right. Okay. And they've got all kinds of colors in this line. I just have not been fortunate enough to find them at my store. I keep searching and keep waiting for them to get the other, you know, I like to get purples and some pinks and some violets and um, uh, some more greens. I've got green and white. I just, I just can't find them. I'll probably find them once this video is over. But guys, um, this paint is not bad really. It's thin. I do want to say it is on the thin side um, and you can see when I put it in my palette it's not so thin that it's going to spread um, it is keeping its um, form in the palette itself um, so you know it's not super super runny so that's a good thing um, so what I want to do now is the other that I picked up in this paint here that was in the tube paint by Crafter Square. I just want to do a test run of it and it's also sealed on the end. This is uh, the paint that had the glitter in it. So I'm going to do a little squirt of it and we're going to see what it looks like. So this was the mauve color that I found and that color really isn't like on here at all. It's just what I'm saying is what it is. It looks like mauvish pink to me. 
So let's do a brush of that. Okay, now you see how light that is? It is so light pink. Let me get that up to the camera. And you can see the glitter that it's through there, but it is so transparent, guys. It is so, so light. Now compared to what it shows in the tube, that's what's gonna come out there on your uh, painting surface. So let's go to the silver and see what the silver is gonna look like. Like I said, I couldn't, this is the only colors that I could find. I'm sure there's more out there. Um, and we'll see what the silver does. Okay, let me get the brush cleaned out. Now I'm going to do the silver. Okay, wow. I am only brushing on a transparent color. There is no color. There is just sparkle. And I don't know if you can see that being picked up or not on camera. There's a, like a shine there, but it's just showing the glitter itself. All right. So I have one more. And I have the yellow tone that I found. And we'll do that to see what it shows also. And how it looks. Because they are totally different looking in the bottles. All right. Here comes the yellow. Now that's what it looks like in the tube. So let's see what it looks like down on our surface. Okay. Wow. So light, guys. And this is ultra thin. I mean, this is this stuff is so thin. So I would say this would be good for a good finish to add sparkle to your um projects with a hint of color okay so that's what the yellow looks like if you can see that there's a little glare okay so I got one more color and this is just this light blue this does not have the glitter in it but I thought it was such a beautiful color so I picked it up also and we're going to give it a test run just to see what it looks like down on our surface. Okay, let me clean out my brush. And let's give it a run. Let's go over here. All right, so there is the blue. And you can see how transparent that blue is and how light it is. Now, this is acrylic paint, so with acrylic paint, once it dries, you can go back over it again to deepen your color. Um, you just have to wait for that first layer to dry up a little bit. And you can add another layer on top. Now, this only being a dollar a tube, I don't know if, if this paint will actually do that. So what we can do is just give a minute and let that kind of set and we'll see if I can darken that blue up a little bit. I'm going to try to fan it a little to um, get it to dry. And then I'll brush another layer over top of that. So you guys can see the difference. Now this is what it looks like in the tube compared to what it looks like when actually put out on your surface or your canvas or whatever you're painting on. So that is so, so light. All right, let me, that's almost dry. Let me get some more and we'll brush over that again to see if we can get it a little darker. Okay, I'm only gonna do half so you guys can see the difference. All right, okay. Now, there's the difference, there is two coats. So this here, is one one coat and this is the two coats okay so I'm gonna let that dry and I'll do one more third coat on top of that and then you guys can be your own judge to see if it's worth it I, I do like how these other three are transparent that would be a good accent to maybe even some wood pieces, wood crafts. 
Um, I would love to try to find that um, this stuff here in an orange color with the orange glitter in it. That would be really pretty for stuff for fall. Okay, I'm just fanning this off just a little. I don't like to get the big loud heat tool out because it's just it's just too loud. So how is everybody Sunday today? How is everybody doing? I'm hoping everybody's well and enjoying your Sunday and crafting and having fun. Okay, it's just, it's almost getting there. But I'm gonna be busy after this. I'm going to be doing a under the sea themed painting for a contest. And when I get it done, I will show everybody what I came up with. I just don't know what I'm gonna do yet. All right, okay, let's do a one more coat to see if we can get that just even darker. And what I'm gonna do here is right below my line. Here's where I'm gonna put the third coat. Okay. Let's see, we can go a little darker. All right. Okay guys, so there you have your three initial. Here's your first coat, very transparent, very see-through, very light. Your two coats, it starts to darken up a little, and then your third coat is even deeper. So remember when you want to paint, this is with any acrylic paint, not necessary, just these paints from the Dollar Tree. Um, you have to wait in between your uh, painting surfaces, what you're painting, to do that next coat to make it even darker. And that really got it even darker. Now, we can go even a fourth coat and go even darker than that. I, I, I'm pretty sure it will probably go just a little um, darker. But there you have it, guys. There is these crafter squares that I did because those are the only colors I could find. And then also this rich art, which is found in the Crafter Square section, but not necessarily, it's not by Crafter Square, but that's the new paints that they've been carrying. Um, and you see how they worked on this paper here. And of course, with this here, now we can even go darker. Let me do that with this red one since this is all dried I can show you how it would go even darker so I did the whole thing there I should have done I only should have done half so you could see the difference but there's that um, let me do half on the brown and then you guys can see because I'm pretty sure they're they're just getting these colors in just because of the season that's coming up and of course it's fall so let me just do half of the brown because this is good and dry so you guys can see. So wow, look at that difference. See how deeper that got than this one. And then like, like I said, the yellow, the yellow is always so transparent and that's with almost any yellow paint that you use. It's just the way yellow is. But I can go in with another a little bit and it will deepen up the color somewhat if you can see that on camera or not. And then the yellow ochre here, and I'll do that, and then we'll call this video done. Okay, so let me go here, I'll show you. All right, now you can see the difference there, how deep that color got compared to the first run. Let me see if you guys can see that. So here's the yellow ochre, there's the yellow regular, the deeper blue, or excuse me, deeper brown with this brown. That was the first run, and then this is the second coat of the Scarlet. Okay, guys, so I hope you take something away from this. You learned a little bit, um, a little bit how this paint flows, how well it is. Um, and we can also, uh, you can, it says you can do it on wood or, um, surfaces such as cardboard and canvas. Um, it would apply the same with wood. Wood is that grainy. Um, it will draw and drink up your paint, so it would probably take a lot more. 
uh, paint on wood put wood what does absorb up paint a lot so but anyway hope you enjoyed this little video I hope you learned something from it if you liked it please give me that thumbs up guys and until next time I'll see you soon bye bye guys